Good morning. Welcome to another Tiny Desk sermon. Your, your, your computer's not broken. I promise I'm here and it'll all make sense in a moment. This morning, we're going to hear from John. John chapter 3, verses 14 to 21. There's going to be a real familiar passage in here. So John writes, As the snake was lifted up by Moses in the wasteland, even so it is necessary for the Son of Man to be lifted up, so that whoever has faith may have him may have in him eternal life. For God had such love for the world that he gave his only Son, so that whoever has faith in him may not come to destruction, but have eternal life. God did not send his Son into the world to be judge of the world. He sent him so that the world might have salvation through him. The man who has faith in him does not come up to be judged, but he who has no faith in him has been judged even now because he has no faith in the name of the only Son of God. And this is the test by which men are judged. The light has come into the world and men have more love for the dark than for the light because their acts are evil. The light is hated by everyone whose acts are evil and he does not come to the light for fear that his acts will be seen. But he whose life is true comes to the light so that it may clearly see that it may be clearly seen that his acts have been done by the help of God. So, of course, John 3, 16, that famous passage that uh, is perhaps the most well-known Bible passage. For God so loved the world that he gave his one and only son, that whoever believes in him shall not perish, but have eternal life. That son who, who came into a dark world. To bring light, to bring revelation, to bring knowledge of what has been done, to pay the price for you and I, to go in our place, willingly go in our place to that cross, that we might believe in him and have the richness of eternal life, the blessings of salvation, the blessings of eternal life given to you and I by the light that shines in the darkness and reveals all this to us. Amen. I know we're short. Uh, be honest, it's a little creepy doing a lot of stuff in the dark. But remember, it is not darkness that we walk in, but rather the light of God, the light of Christ that shines on us and reveals our path. Thanks for joining me for another Tiny Desk Sermon as this is the, uh, the fourth week in Lent. Lent is, is flying right along. We look forward to that joyous reveal of the further light, that light that conquers death in Christ's resurrection that is to come in the coming weeks. God's blessings. We'll see you in worship. Bye-bye.